So you think there may be a pair of these in that 10 Downing Street? Well, I think so. well, if they're watching, if they are watching, maybe we'll get a letter. Yep. But I'd be very interested to know because they are actually American preachers. Now, are you of a particularly biblical bent? I am not. You are not? I am not. But I understood that um, they had something to do with rewriting the Bible. Right, OK. Well, let's, let's first of all tell you that they come from New England, or, or the, the original people. Uh, yeah. Mr Moody, Dwight Moody and Ira Sankey were preachers. They right. were the Billy Grahams of their day. And they came over to England in about 1873 and again in the 1880s. Now, right. it may interest you to know that Mr Moody was the man with the words, and Mr. Sankey was the man who did all the singing. No. So it would have been quite a lively meeting. Of course. And it's interesting that because there's a strong sort of preaching tradition, isn't there, in Wales? Well, of course there is. And I suspect that that's what would have appealed to a Welsh, um, reasonably well-off yeoman uh, who would have bought these figures in around the 1870s, 1880s, when they were being made down the road in Staffordshire. Do you collect Staffordshire figures? Well, a little. You do you now? Know, I do now. Yeah, OK. <laughs> well, they are flat backed and not a great deal of effort usually goes into decorating the rear end. The rear end. Very often they save all their colour, they don't bother colouring in the back. But yeah. here we have the, 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 the rather smart black suits filled in all the way round. Um, you paid how much for them? Well, I paid £285. And that was how long ago? That was about seven years ago. Seven years ago. I think they're very, very strong bits of vernacular sculpture. Yeah. So I think you've paid a reasonably good price for them. I was going to put a value somewhere between three and £450 on them. Oh, well. Which isn't too bad, is which it? Which isn't too bad. And you bought them in the shop. And I would say, well, an insurance figure would probably, today, would be around £500. Thank you very much. Tell me about this tanker, what do you know about it? Um, well, it's my husband's grandmother's. It's been passed on as a family heirloom. And other than that, I don't know anything at all. Right, well, it's made in 1767 and has a maker's mark IK for a chap called John King. Um, this pretty open work thumb piece, a very pretty scroll handle here, which is extremely nice and with contemporary initials um, marked in the lid as it should be. There's a, a little bit of damage in the lid, just, just there, you can see a little bit there. But it's a, it's a nice drinking tankard, good, I suppose, what, two pints, something like that? Yes, I think so. Do you use it? No, it's in the um, showcase in the, ca in the cabinet on show, oh. that's all. Well, George III tankards are not absolutely the most amazing things, but it's still around about... Fifteen to eighteen hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs>